learned, you can be taught to forgive. There's a book called Learning to Reveal, Learning to Forgive, and it reveals research that shows the effects of forgiveness on our overall well-being, and most importantly, that we can be taught to forgive. That's why Jesus came teaching us how to forgive. We can be taught to forgive, and forgiveness is mastered with practice. The more you forgive, the easier it is to forgive. The more you do it, the easier it is to do it. And you practice it, you begin practicing it on small things. Come on, it's going to be really challenging you to forgive someone for some major offense against you that it seems to have set your life back. If you can't forgive the sister for rolling her eyes at you or stepping on your toe or not telling you your dress was pretty. Oh my God, you've lost it. Practice on those small things. You get, it gets easier with practice. You master forgiveness with practice. Jesus was the master teacher on forgiveness. In almost every discourse with his disciples, he mentioned forgiveness. Matthew 8, 21 through 22. This is, this is how it reads. It says, then Peter came to him, Jesus, and asked, Lord, how often should I forgive someone who sins against me? Seven times? I guess Peter said, that sounds like a good number, seven times. And Jesus said, no, not seven times, but I say 70 times seven. And I believe 70 times seven is symbolic for an unlimited number of times. It has to do with mastery. I believe what Jesus was saying, master it. Yeah. 70 times seven has to do with mastery. Master it. He was saying, forgive each time. Master it, Peter, and you will never be stopped. Nothing can hold you down, not even death. How often should I forgive? I say to you, how, how long do you want to live? How well do you want to live? How happy do you want to be? How much life do you want? How unstoppable do you want to be? How extraordinary do you want to be? It's up to you. How many times should I forgive? That's up to you. When you're ready to get stuck and be stopped and be unhappy and be sick, stop there. How much life do you want to live? How oh, happy, healthy do you want to be? How much forgiveness do you want to receive? Jesus said, if you do not forgive them of their sins, neither will your Father in heaven forgive you. It's not about them, it's about you. How do you want to live this life? Forgiveness is the most vital part of my success plan. As we speak, I am mastering the art of forgiveness. I'm mastering it. I am mastering letting go. And it is bringing me into restoration in my marriage, 20 years for us, my ministry, my health, and every part of me. I'm endeavoring with God's grace to live in a constant state of forgiveness. Forgiveness. 